no secret that the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory is pretty much the smartest square mile on Earth. And a perfect example of our cutting edge science and technology is the National Ignition Facility, also known as NIF. NIF houses the world's largest and most energetic laser. In short, it creates the temperatures and pressures you would find in stars and also helps the laboratory with stockpile stewardship. In order for NIF's 192 laser beams to converge on a target about the size of a pencil eraser, nearly 40,000 optics precisely guide, reflect, amplify, and focus the laser beams onto the target which means these optics take quite a beating, but that's where the optics recycle loop comes in. So what exactly is the optics recycle loop? We first take the optics out of its hardware frames, we clean the optic, we put on a new anti-reflective coating, and then we put it into a metrology system. Then once we've done that, we send the optic down to our optic mitigation facility that can repair the individual damage sites. Uh, let's break that down a little slower. Maybe we can start off with what an optic is. An optic is the elements in the NIF that can range from uh, lenses, mirrors, wave plates, laser amplifier slabs, polarizers. But for the sake of the recycle loop, there's only two optics on NIF that damage. We primarily process the wedge focus lens and the grading debris shield. The wedge focus lens and grading debris shields are the two types of optics that are at the greatest risk of damage. We realized that with the size of the NIF optics, it would be unlikely that we would ever be able to make optics of the quality uh, needed to have no damage on the final optics. Furthermore, we knew that these would be very expensive optics and that we wouldn't be able to afford to replace them at the rates that we thought would be needed. So located in the center of the target chamber is an inspection system called FODI. So our um, FODI system is basically a high resolution camera which sits at the center of the target chamber. And it takes pictures um, uh, looking up each beam line and can detect these flaws. Uh, they're minute little flaws, uh, you know, fractions of a human hair. We have a custom OI analysis software that we've built that then takes all those camera images and sorts through it and finds the defects and starts to track their history. If we let them keep growing, they'll be too big to mitigate. Then we use what we call the spot blockers. We have a, a blocker system that allows us to block sites up to a certain size and, and once we have too many of those blockers we just had an optic needs to be pulled off. After the damage has been assessed, the optic is removed from NIF and taken here, the optics processing facility. Right behind this window is where the magic of the recycling loop happens, but before I can go in there I have to get gowned up in a clean room suit. It's really important that work in the clean room is performed as cleanly as possible so these suits prevent dirt from humans from getting on the optics. Here is the first stop of the loop where the optics are removed from their frames and stripped clean. We strip it in a hot caustic solution, then we rinse it with lots of deionized water, then we rinse it in a Brulin detergent, and then after that we rinse it with DI water, and then when you, you take it out of the bath, if it's very clean, it will just sheet dry. You know, it doesn't bead up, and it's ready to go on to the next step which is coating with an anti-reflective coating. Then the optic is inspected in the metrology system. It has four different types of metrology for looking for damage, identifying damage, and then doing microscopic interference inspection of the damage to characterize it and figure out if it is just a nuisance defect or if it's a critical defect that needs to be repaired. Once they have a full map of the damage sites that need to be repaired, the optic then goes to the mitigation facility. The damage looks like little fractures you might get in your windshield of your car, very jagged, rough fractures, and the, we use a CO2 laser to go around that damage, remove it, and you end up with a very smooth cone. Uh, where the damage was before. Now that the damage spots have been repaired, it comes here for inspection under the human eye. We have a human inspect the optic, make sure everything is okay and that it's mounted properly, and then we send it into the loop case, which is the clean case that sends it back to the NIF, uh, where we can reinstall them back in the beam lines. This recycle loop is essential to sustain continuous operation at NIF. In fact, the majority of optics currently installed on NIF have passed through this recycle loop at least once, with some having been recycled over eight times. So the loop is very important to let us maximize the number of shots that we can run on NIF 
um, and remain within our budget. You know, we knew that NIF simply couldn't operate at its 1.8 megajoule design fluence if we didn't have a functional optic mitigation facility. And the cost of doing that would be so prohibitive that we would end up running our laser the same way as previous lasers like Nova and um, the Omega laser. Just about everything in through the loop is sort of cutting edge science that had to be developed for NIF. This is not something that you can find uh, other companies doing. So where else would you find truly unique technology other than right here, the smartest square mile on Earth? If you're interested in learning more about NIF's Optics Recycle Loop, visit us online at llnl.gov or subscribe to this channel and like us on Facebook for more videos letting you in behind the scenes of all the science happening here at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory.